Uh, we're up against Tactical Decision. I'm thinking that Tiger's Eye is not the vibe for this deck, correct? It's obviously good with the Peach, that's it. Yoink of Shoop. It's not looking great. I must admit. Okay, Wheel of Fortune time. Give me a ten. Yeah, I I should probably be playing with there. But the idea is like sometimes you can just slam Savola round one. And then you can save Siggy as like your last play. It's kind of struggling to fit it. But yeah. It is the main card that should probably be in the deck. Over profit by one hero. Oops. Huh? Really? What? I might just pass. I don't get why they're slamming leader at all. I don't, I don't understand. Like I feel like with heat weight, I would scorch. I should probably be winning. And the water. The continent will quake beneath Nilfgaardian hope. Oh, fuck. oh my watching. I mean, I still have a Scorch, you know? A superb specimen. Um, Peach is decent. Hands honestly pretty playable. Uh, I'm not worried about getting too old, but obviously I would try quite like to find Scorch. Hand is just pretty playable, I think. I'm going to keep the hand. Not all dragons crave gold. Yo, mate! Thanks so much for the sub. Oh, lad. Uh, I could go Peach plus Leader, maybe. I guess I should have played around Haze. Mate, faded to black with the prime sub. Thank you so much, man. That's really kind of you. Easy shoot steal. I mean, I would have if they couldn't have just pass. I guess they can always pass something. Uh, so I guess we just go tap tap Siggy here. Siggy. Thanks for YouTube content, been a massive help in getting me up the ranks. Nice one, mate. No, my pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks for the support, mate. It means a lot. Tap tap poison, maybe? I guess playing this was maybe a better better idea, right? No tap. You'd imagine they're going to hold the Sunset Wanderers. Or not?
Guys, we're going to get 2 0 <laughs> Oh god, why are they actually pushing us still? Is happening here. Like, how does this make any sense unless you know that I've got a flipping Scorch in my hand, right? Seriously. Troop Resilience, maybe? Is that the line? Winnable. Short round Savola. We need profit of some kind, right? Yeah, profit. Huh. Oh, I'm no beggar! I'm an artist! What a Chad card, mate. It's just the hand, I guess. If he keeps the skewer tooth. Yeah, it's fine. I'm no beggar, I'm an artist. Yeah, maybe some more profit cards in it for just worth including to be safe rather than this geezer. Enough. Woohoo! We win! <laughs> Let's go! Yes! Baltron's definitely one of the decks that. Could I okay, never mind. They can't outpoint us. It's just over. How can we lose, guys? Uh, our hand ain't great. We could go Savola round one. Again, not ideal. But they don't actually care about us being uninteractive, right? Really? The stack? Excuse me. Truly. Hey Ragnar, thanks for following and welcome. Um Don't really know what to do, eh? We're already in a bit of a sticky situation. Obviously I can't kill Coral yet, I'll be able to in the next turn if I don't profit though. It's kinda of too late at that point. I don't really want to use this. I don't want to play this. Just a bad hand, I guess. Kind of just doing this, right? Don't blame me for your crooked nose. We shall do it. Hit the beggar twice, man. Easy game. This might be the first loss, guys. This might be the first loss. We'll see. Ouch. Hmm. Years 
Yeah, winning round one should be like the biggest priority because then you get last save. But in this particular matchup, I'm not sure it's that important. Just gonna play a six strength card here, guys. <gasps> I can do this all day. Almost. Almost, man. Is it a Scorch vibe? Is it a Shoot vibe? The Scorch is kind of my win con, right? For round three. It's not the greatest of top decks. But I think holding on to these two is correct, right? One problem we have is, is like if they seek somehow they could replay Defender route, right? then I can't heat wave. S, I guess. I think trying to bleed is very troll. They don't have Crow Mother though, but we're just banking on a big scorecard, right? which unfortunately, when I don't have uh, the bloody good friends, is not going to happen. I think we have to ditch the wheel, guys. It's time. I think it's time the wheel has to go for the bloody good friends, mate. We need this card. Oh, the wheel's gonna smurf, dudes. Come on! Savola! Savola! Sir. Bola! Shit. We lost. Unless. Mm, a superb specimen, truly. Unless, guys. Did I even have the profit for it? I had three, four, seven. Yeah, I did. What do you need? Oh, mate. Can you believe we considered removing this card, guys? I, I, it couldn't be me, chat. It just couldn't be me. It's just too easy, man. Guys, on my exterior, I'm calm. But in my brain, I'm ejaculating.
A superb specimen, truly. This boy's me love, I've already cut me on Don't click, please. Oh, so close. How can I make it line up, guys? Is there a way? Is there a way I can do it, chat? Huh? Is this doing it? No, not yet. Almost though, we're almost there. I can feel it coming. I know it's happening. The only problem here is I get... Oh, I'm an entrepreneur. Are we supposed to like damage this or anything? Maybe. Uh, damage by two. I feel like this might have been a misplay, right? I don't know. Do -do -do. Travel makes one modest. Let's one see the bigger picture. Guys, we're popping off, mate. It's happening. I know, I know it's gonna happen. I can feel it. <gasps> huh? Guys. <gasps> oh, so close. Oh, shit. Okay, whatever. We missed Savola. Bad matchup, this one. Miss Savola. We actually need to change the deck up after this game, right? Improve it somewhat. Um, do I have two poisons? No, I might just... It's still a seven-point card. Assault is probably decent in round one if they don't play Bran. Dip. Dip plus Savvy's okay. Nice, let's go. Being Yolis with the savviest of hucksters now. Not, of course, forgetting to emote them. What's this? Oh! <laughs> oh! I've a great eye for faces. A 
superb specimen, truly. Yeah, I've also got a feeling we might be losing the round. Just a sneaky suspicion. Having said that, we still have Sunset Wanderers and Leader. So this plays for 9 points. Sunset Wanderers is 7, so that's 16. I'm at 18. It's near 13 last play. Excuse me, which of Leader is worth 8? I think I can still do it. I didn't actually officially properly do the maths, but I'm pretty sure I can still do it. Officially do the maths, guys. This is a six. Oh god, I should have done the maths properly. This is a six. It's 13. I mean, I can just do it. If I just have to double leader, I just have to double leader, but I'm pretty sure I only need one leader. I haven't actually done the maths still, guys. I did the maths, guys. <laughs> Listen, I thought I did the maths. I just wasn't convinced. I just wanted to keep the suspense up, mate. I knew it was close. If worst comes to us, I just use the second leader charge. It's not a big deal. I have King of Beggars. It's only four points my leader is worth through in round three. It's really no big deal. Um, we can take some mulligans to... Try and make her have more units for round three. But, I mean, dip is pretty good. Would I have enough profit? Maybe profit is the concern. I might actually have to mulligan wheel. Because I'm concerned that I won't have enough for Savola. I have Siggy if I need it. We can ditch this. There is, yeah, I guess that's true. It's worth six. It's a fair point. Yeah, it's a, it's a fair point. Uh, no, but I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to have bloody good friends and not Wheel of Fortune. Probably going to change it after this game. This card's so bad, but I can hit King of Beggars. I, I should have enough profit, right? Oh god, I'm worried. I don't know. Yeah, I can just go roll the Grief of Siggy. It's fine. Yeah, weather. We, we did have Spear, and I'm going to add bloody good friends. That's actually the... the the real the real option but i'm busy using wheel of fortune because i'm a lad <sighs> yeah wheel of fortune is the player i still think we need to try and get radea in as well like she's just good in round three as well because of the five coins you can have of uninterruptivity uh, we don't want to play this yet because of Harold. Random damage route. Three. Fogging a, an eight sounds bad because this could, this could be a heatwave card, right? There's another eight in the grave. Uh, sorry, a Skorker card. Mm. It's just lining up the Scorch on the sevens, guys. It's fine. <sighs> Chat, listen. I'm lining up the Scorch. Trust me. You might think this was bad. This is popping off. Oh! <laughs> I flipping told you, chat. Wheel of Fortune popping off. Maybe I should just take it now. But I'm just wondering if there's any of the sevens. They might go for the... Raider off Fukusia. Of course we get greedy, mate. We've got the savvy huckster. We've got the heat the heat wave. We can afford to be greedy. Hey, listen here. Listen well. Listen here. Listen well.
Yeah, bloody good friends wouldn't have done it. It's true, mate. Oh my god. It's, uh, this is the Wheel of Fortune's final stand, mate. Just, you know. Prove it. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, God. That's so sad. We'll have to heat wave it. I thought the savvy huckster was just going to pop off there. Okay, that is... There's, the only other card that can go as tall as this is another 8, right? Off of Kusia. Oh. Oh. Tag V's an 8? Yes, and I've got my mushy truffle ready for it. I fear no evil. I'm not sure it's still on Suskiwa 2 from this deck that much. Not vibing with it too much. <gasps> oh, chat. Chat. Oh, stop it. I told you. I flipping told you. I could have waited one more turn for the Togvi, to be fair. I regret it. Yeah, Slash got discarded though. Could have waited, man. Ah, oh, what a disappointment I am, because an actual disappointment. Oh god, this gonna... Oh god, never mind. Lesson learned, shoot before the immune cards. Mate, this, this savvy huckster is good at swerving damage. What a chad. He's one savvy lad. Oh, this means they can lead at me as well. Shit. I mean, they can anyway, because I have to go. Siggy Reuven. No, I'm pretty... Can you lead her without a target? Oh, right. Yeah, I thought you needed a target for it. They have no Yuta. Yeah, I guess actually you need this worth even more than I thought, right? Because you spend the original coin. Unlucky, mate. You got outplayed. Okay, Wheel of Fortune's final stand. It's gone forever now, though. Rippers. Oh, this card's not supposed to be in the deck, though, is it? I don't think. Mutant Killer? Whatever. Some kind of profit card might be a better bet. Spear is just lining up our Scorch, though. And it's a bit... It's good content where it's a Spear for that reason. We have one poison. Nice. You got a sea base swimming in their breaches. Yeah, exactly. It's just a bit of fun. It's actually not even that bad with Scorch Rope. It's the only card it makes any sense of. Nothing like some overseas plundering and spring. Come on! 
Yeah, just lining up the scorch, mate. Exactly. <clears throat> Gren. Gersendia, if that's. Cheers, mate. I'll uh, add him to the description. Thank you very much for that, Anna. You're a diamond, mate. This is tallest unit, so it's just bad here. Yeah, unfortunately, took out wheel, mate. <sighs> Sorry to be boring. It's a similar situation at sunset. It's just we just don't care about it, right? It's just around one card to help us win the run the round. We literally just don't care about this card. We're obviously are gonna play mushy truffle, beggar, carry over. Nice. We hit the money card. We don't care about the other beggar though. I don't think we should always have enough profit with this. <clears throat> we don't really want this either, particularly. I'm no beggar, I'm an artist! I'm no Yeah, I mean, the thing is, we'd have to get ahead of Sunset Wanderers, right? Of Mort Fox, sorry, if we go in this. Yeah, you could play that card for sure. Mulliganing Sunset Wanderers is uh, unironically the play. I know you guys are like, what the hell? Guys, it's a zero point card. Yes. It's zero points. And more importantly, it can brick my King of Beggars. I kind of miss, miss the uh, immune piggy though. But the thing with the immune piggy is you, it takes away two points from your final point anyway, right? To make it immune. So I don't even know if it's that good. Yeah, it's not about if they miss Mortfar because they just they have like a load of damage that they're going to waste, Milo. Because I'm just playing pretty uninteractive the whole time. I'm just not going to be putting units on the board that they can use their leader charges on. So even if they don't have Mortfrog, they can just use their leader on it and stuff for it. But the biggest thing is, the reason I mulligan it is because it could top deck me my King of Beggars. And that is really bad, right? That's how I, It's like the only way I could ever lose the game here. Yeah, we'll use Insanity, exactly. Kicking Sunset is a Chad, not false. Yo, Shadow! Yeah, this is the problem with playing this card so early. It's probably just not, not the line, actually. No, this is the 5P card because it lines up. Scorch, but we could play Maxi in this deck as well. Just not play this thing, right? I was playing Siskiyo Tooth. I just took it out. It takes away your Savola value, right? Like your Savola King of Beggars, because it's a tribute. So it's kind of not that good for seven provisions. There's got to be better uses of the provisions. Like, I'm not even playing Rodea, right? Rodea should probably be in this deck. Yeah, 
Yeah, this, this card should be in the deck. Uh, I don't think Tavern Brawl's particularly good in this deck. It's okay. We can just play this. We over profit, but we're always going to be over profiting, basically. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be playing this card, right? Because of Shoop as well. I'm supposed to Shoop first. So this playing this card so early is just a mistake. I almost flipping misclicked on this guy's imagine. Another close game. <laughs> oh dear. Do we mulligan it? Or do we just round one Scorch? We have the combo. Maybe we just mulligan the poison. This card is just not any good with no profit. Yeah, I mean, the thing with King of Beggars, like, King of Beggars would not have been this good if it was obvious that he could be played in every deck. But I don't think it was super obvious. popping off guys let's be honest it just is oh ho, ho. So 18 points plus sunset in the same turn, mate. Easy. Yeah, it's very obvious what I'm trying to do, to be fair. Uh, 
Uh, do we just play the bloody good friends, I guess? Remember guys, we don't care about Sunset Wanderers, we actually just would prefer to thin. Master Crafted Spear, more like broken card, guys! Like, bear in mind, we don't, we've been mulliganing this card in round three, so like, we don't care. It's so obviously okay, using the Scorch is not ideal, but like, we won the round, who cares? And I'm aware Mastercrafted Spear is not actually a broken card, just to confirm. We don't need Beggar because we have Siggy. Of double poison. I think I'd prefer poison to bloody good fun. Did we need to use Scorch? Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't even remember, but yeah. Probably right. I just tunnel vision. Pretty good fun for them. What? How? How else would I have done it though? Scorch played for what? Eighteen points. How else was I going to do it? I'd have to spend my coins. Do I enjoy torture? Perhaps. I mean, maybe. Never spent my coins. I was fine. Or use the leader charge, I guess. One. Well, the first leader charge is only worth four, right? We could have had Scorch in this round, mate, you know? So, the Savvy Huckster's the worst card here. True or false? True. We want Truffle. Obviously, we don't want to hit the Beggars. I won by 12. Okay, lesson learned. I tunnel visioned. So Roll Decree is... Not very good. Basically. Maybe a Savvy Huckster. Poison maybe, I don't know. Shoot for a million card? Yes, thank you. Yeah, discarding was definitely probably definitely probably was probably the player. Yeah. We just never give them any spender, right? It's fine. I guess there's one in the grave, to be fair. <clears throat> oh, this is a Fola. That is a bit of a problem, actually, isn't it? Oh dear. Okay. So these tax collectors were... Uh, this tax collector play was a flipping disaster, mate. Basically. That's what you guys are telling me, right? 
Oops. The good news is we're still going to win. Oh! <laughs> what a numpty, mate. Oh, dear. <laughs> he probably saw Savola as well. It's like, he saw the shoot. He probably saw whatever he saw. It's great. He even saw the shoot for the lonely champion, the Savola. Any of them are good. Any of them are just hilarious, honestly. But yeah, I mean, the shoop is just a bit weird. Like, what are we even going to bother doing with it here? We could, like, do this shoop transform into a special card, maybe? There's a invo still, right? The problem is I'm obviously just going to be damaging my own cards. Shoop hunter for damage, maybe? You say? Yeah, I could see that. Shoop hunter for damage. A random enemy. Spawn random row effect on an enemy row for three turns. That's not very good, is it? My Siggy's just terrible, too, mate. Because of Invo. Actually, just a terrible card. Yeah, it can roll dragon stream. Yes. Yes. Novice would be a problem for us, or like Diplo into a spender route. This is another place where this card would actually have been really good. <laughs> to spend my coins, right? I'm not playing to Invo. Hoggers, mate. So, is there a world in which I'm supposed to Savola first? I guess I just go double leader, right? We messed up, but we did it. <laughs> I'm playing shoot. Reason is a shoot you can use as just like a really high end card that's like uninteractive to some extent. Um, double weather seems really bad. We could be playing Radera in this deck too, but we decided not to for the time being. Yeah, this does get worse though if they realise what kind of deck we are and they just start slamming all their cards around one row.
service. Thing is, we can probably go double leader charger on one in this matchup if it just wins the round route. We saw how easy it was. If we have lasso. Okay. So it's just going to be a mulligan sunset wanderers again, but we'll go for the mushy truffle carryover into beggar. Man, the syndicate theme tune is so good, man. Levels. Levels. I don't really like the frost. Augers. Oh, they just don't know what the deck is, right? Specimen, truly. Oh, yes. Oh, shit. I forgot. Oh, guess we've got Sunset Wanderers. Just don't top deck King of Beggars, mate. I forgot to mulligan it. Cause... I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. But, I mean, if I'm on a, you know, there's just a good, good a chance that I hit it anyway, so I might as well just keep it at this point. There's actually a better chance. I forgot to mulligan. But yeah, because the card I mulligan could go on top. We could discard it, it's true. Okay. What this? <laughs> confidence, mate. So much confidence. Is it an issue if I just over profit with this? Could take the Scorch. I just waste coins and damage a four, right? I think it's fine. We have Siggy. After all. I look like Wolverine! Cause is, is that because I've got like no Tash, but I've got this? Cheers, I'll take it. Honestly, it was a bit of an accident this morning. I was oversleep, but well, it's a long story. Basically, I wasn't sure if I was actually casting this tournament today. I kind of got caught off guard by it. Okay. 
Okay. Pray for no ship. That's fine. Here comes the Skorker. 18 point. This is a problem as well, right? Can they, they can kill my immune card. Ups. Yeah, mate, I've watched it. I'm trying to make videos on it. I spent all day yesterday making a video on it, but Netflix blocked it. I might go for the flipping shoot steal, mate, and just steal this. I'm very sure they can kill this anyway. I know, I know, I know, I know with the shoot thing, but I'm very sure they can just kill it anyway. Can I concrete? But I guess there's less armor on the board. Also hit the frost. It's kind of close, guys. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit nervous. Monkey guys. We still win, right? Right, guys. What an easy game, bro. Can someone clip that, please? Can someone please clip that? <laughs> please clip that. A superb specimen. <laughs> okay, we're up against hunger. Should be a rough one. Uh, I mean, Scorch is already looking pretty decent. Now, you want Wanderers for round one points. You just need to win round one, which this card does, right? This is going well. Okay, so we'd have to heat wave the lava. I guess we could poison it. Do we have enough turns to poison it? We could also just knock it down with this, right? Uh, what do we do here? kind of forgot. I'll have to just make this. It's kind of awkward actually, right? Derp derp. I mean, maybe I pass. Uh...
Wars champ. Rip Sunset Wanderers though. <laughs> they didn't realise. Fog's bottom unit, right? So they can't pass. <laughs> it's just a leader, right? Do we leader? We're losing two points, it could just be one point. I don't think it is an easy leader though, guys, because we play dip in the Pontor and then suddenly... I mean, we might just get a really good call. I guess they might have won. Basically, just relying on last card being horn. Right? <laughs> this guy got finesse. I'm not sure why he's playing Alyssa. Not all dragons Yo, Byron Sutton, thank you so much for the three month sub, my boy. I really appreciate the support, mate. Loving the deck, mate. No, you. No, you, mate. Do we ever just try and bleed out the horn? Short on the round? I'm no beggar. I'm an artist. I don't hate it. Go any Jora. Stones? These here is rich fibers. Mmm. A superb specimen, truly. Oh! Oh, okay, dude. I see you, brother. I mean, I think I care, right? Beat heat wave anyway, right? Let's go! What was that last card then? Maybe Gurney? How are they doing in that deck? Not very well. 